Hi, this is Parvati Benu and you are watching edX Live Straight Up. From this year, you do not have to study physics or mathematics in class 12 to apply for an engineering course. Yes, you heard that right. The AICTE has changed the eligibility criteria to let more students from a variety of disciplines get a chance to study engineering. The new eligibility criteria list has a whole of subjects and a candidate would be eligible if they choose any three from the list. The subjects are physics, mathematics, chemistry, computer science, electronics, information technology, biology, informatics practices, biotechnology, technical vocational subject, agriculture, engineering graphics, business studies, entrepreneurship, and engineering. But how do they expect the students to study engineering with no exposure to mathematics and physics? They have plans for that too. The AICTE proposed that they'll have bridge courses in mathematics, physics, or any subject that would be needed for the courses for students who did not study those subjects in high school. But is a bridge course enough to replace two years of mathematics and physics training in school? The teachers and academics definitely do not think so. They say that bridge courses are for students who are weak in a particular subject but cannot teach what took two school years to teach. But the AICD chairman Anil Sahastrabudde told the media that this would bring more flexibility. A lot of students from various disciplines will be able to join. He also said that this is in line with the NEP and its 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 system. While it's a good plan to let students from other disciplines come into engineering, physics and mathematics are two foundational subjects of engineering and it all depends on the implementation of bridge courses. Do not forget to like and share this video and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again tomorrow.